Crash Wednesday that she's here because she's somebody's woman crush Wednesday. Um, certainly in my collection of uh, crushes for a Wednesday. She is our woman crush Wednesday. Oh, fantastic, lovely. The more the merrier. <laughs> Her name is Gigi Lamain. What does she do? Well, she's an artist. She raps. She's a hip hop artist. She is purely talented, highly educated, and uh, quite an achieving artist. Absolutely. And uh, she's bagged several awards, including uh, not just hip hop awards, by the way. Uh, the Real Architects of Society Rising Star Award, um, Youth Excellence Award, and of course all the, the music awards for Best Female, Best Newcomer. And uh, she has endorsement deals with Puma, with Bacardi, with Flying Fish. I, the list is endless. Well, it, I'm glad that it's an endless list because she blows up in a, in a, in a very difficult space for women, right? Yeah. And I mean, I know this because we've had this conversation countless of occasions, but uh, let's welcome her to the stew. What's going on, Gigi? I'm good, I'm good. How are you guys doing? We almost forgot you here. We almost forgot you here because we were just talking about you like, you know. <laughs> I'm messy. I'm that's, what, that's what happens when you have such a long list of accolades. Sure, sure. So when you are a hip-hop artist, yes. you know, you look at what you managed to achieve, especially last year and, and part of this year. Yeah. And then you look at why you got into it. What is it all about for you, being a hip-hop artist? Um, I think... You know, for anyone, you know, hip hop as a genre has always been a space to to become legendary, to leave your mark. And I think, um, you know, because I I like books and I'm a bit of a nerd, I'm a bit of a geek. Um, what better way to to spread, you know, what I believe my 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 spoken word? Um, what better way to become a, a voice for young kids growing up? in 2017 i feel like there's so many uh ways that we can touch people's lives and this is my kind of philanthropy you know so for me i, I think that's what it means i've always felt like i wanted to give back as a young person mm. and and that's what I, I i hope to do in my music that is so profound i've never heard anyone say that music is their kind of philanthropy because that's what it is right exactly and and, and, and it just shows how um you know deeply rooted you are in it as much as it is in you thank you now you know i mean we just played a song with you on proverb a yes. couple of seconds ago i mean musically speaking how are you feeling about what you're putting out at the moment um i i do feel like i i went through a phase i think uh, beginning of 2017 when i was really experimenting uh, with a lot of sound, you know, uh, for me, Proverb was part of my top five MCs in South Africa, and I wanted to be able to do something with him. I'm not saying before anything happens to anyone, but uh, <laughs> for me, you know, I've, I've I've had a song with Dumi, aka my favorites, you know. So Proverb, it was definitely about that. But I'm going through a very experimental stage, um, and 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 I'm excited about the direction that my music is taking because I have found my voice in hip hop as a young black South African mm. woman, and I'm able to relate to women through that. So yeah. So when did the music bug bite? Yo, I was eleven. The funniest bit is that um, I went into it more uh, because of my mom. So, I mean, my English teacher, I was in grade five, you know, and I, we were given this assignment to write a poem about Valentine's Day. And my teacher called my mom and she was like, I think your child's been copying. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, no, I think your child's been copying. Please come in. And they checked on the internet and there was nothing. And, and the poem was called Valentine's Day. And then my teacher kept me in for a while. After that, during breaks, just getting me to write poems. And it was just easy for me to do. <laughs> Before you know it, my mom was like, do what you have to do with her English teacher. And wow. at the end of that year, I had two poems published at the Poetry Institute of Africa. It was just easy for me to play with words. That is wow. amazing. So meanwhile, they're thinking they're punishing you. Can't yeah. like you can't you. <laughs> no, that, you were so good. They did not think that they a child think of your age is, no, could no. possibly Shout out like to that. her, though. She's really proud of me. Uh, Kim Baker's from Dominican Convent. Wow. Oh, you went to Dominican? Yes, oh, I went to that's not far from here. Now everyone, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So does that mean you can also write a book? Yeah, good one, a very good book. Oh, all right, yeah, all right. right. Well, no, we're, no, we're, waiting, like, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. I'll write, 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 write my own book. book. I'll write my own book. That, like, uh, well, yeah, yeah, sure. You know what I mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. We know exactly yeah. what you mean. <laughs> and and you've, got, you've got albums that you put out, and isn't that like like easily a book? You know, because yeah. you know, each song sure. is like a chapter, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. for sure. sure. Yeah, but what, you better write better books. Which I mean, part of your life would you, would, would you consider the most prominent chapter if you could write, um, if you did write a book right now? I, I definitely think my plight into hip-hop because when I was in high school, I was bullied. 
ended up in a depression uh, clinic and I think it was the down and out stage of my life. Matric, I had to be moved from one school to another. Mm. You know, with the syllabus and whatever was going on, everyone was like, ah, you, this child is going to fail. There's no way she's going to make it. Huh. And my mom moved me to a different school and five distinctions. Mm. Voila. So I think for me, that would be the problem. That was like the plight. And that yeah. was when I started believing in the force of attraction and that whatever I wanted, I could get. Right, well, her name is Gigi Lemayne. She seems to believe in the number five. If it's not five distinctions, it's five hip hop uh, awards. So it's all good in the hood. Give us a call 089 110 377.